Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm Chef Allie and I've been stirring up a love of farm fresh cooking all across my home state of Kansas for over a decade. I enjoy teaching you about food, cooking, and family farms. And from farm to fork, Kansas farmers are always working hard so we can enjoy delicious Kansas-raised food. Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. And farm fresh it is today, Allie. Yeah. We've got I'm a lot of ingredients excited. from the farm. Yeah, and you know what? We're going to make something that typically we think of sausage as a pork product. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can make homemade sausage from beef. And so I brought some of my ground beef from home because we raise cattle and like to um, process our own beef. Mm -hmm. So I brought some nice beef, and to that I added several different spices, typically what's in sausage, which would be sage, red pepper flakes, a little bit of oregano, some onion powder, and of course some garlic. And okay. we just browned that off, and then I took a little bit of that fat out of the pan, and I'm going to start my flame back again. Um, and one thing we want to remember, anytime we're cooking in a skillet, and I know I've told you this before, but we always want to preheat our skillet because why? We want sizzle not fizzle. So anytime <laughs> we put anything into a skillet, we want to make for sure that it's preheated. So uh -huh. when my ground beef, or my sausage rather, my beef sausage, hit that pan, we it's heard sizzle, sizzle yes. because that promotes, creates browning, mm -hmm. which is caramelization, which is just added flavor. So it really doesn't matter what you're putting in there. If it's onions, if it's ground beef, whatever it is, we want to have that preheated skillet. So that's the first thing we'll, that will always elevate your cooking and set it apart from anybody else's because if you do that extra step, you've got more flavor. Wonderful. Yeah, so the next thing we're gonna do is I brought some of my farm fresh eggs from my uh, neighbor, Linda. And if mm -hmm. you wanna just give that a little bit of a, of a whip there, there's a dozen eggs. This is a pound of beef sausage. So a pound of beef and a dozen eggs. And a dozen this eggs. This is a big hearty breakfast. This is a breakfast. big skillet. And I know you're like me, since we have a family, we love dishes that we can put everything into one, one pan. Yes. So there's less dishes to do. And so what we'll do at this point, I'm gonna take your whisk out of there. We're okay. just gonna put our beef kind of to the side of the skillet for now. Okay. And actually, before we do that, we're actually gonna add our hash browns. So you can dump those in if you want to. Hear oh, that? Yes. There's our sizzle. Sizzle, not fizzle. Sizzle, not fizzle. There we go. And then if you want to cut up the scallions right there, I brought the shears for you. Over the pan? You can, if you how, want to. Um, Just as big or as small big? as kind of what you like. And it's handy. We always start at the green end and work towards the white because the root at the white part is what holds it all together. So you can put as few or as many in there as you want. You're doing a great job do you with your kitchen shears. Here? You can do a couple more chops. And I'm going to go ahead and add some red bell pepper to that, which okay. is a sweet bell pepper. And then we're just gonna kind of give this a little bit of a stir. It's so colorful already, I love yeah, that. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Yes. Because what we're trying to do right here is just kind of get some browning on our potatoes. So we don't want to play with this too much. And also to kind of soften up our um, red bell peppers mm -hmm. and our scallions just a little bit. You might have to add just a little bit of broth or oil because see those particles that are stuck to that the bottom stick of to our the pan? bottom. That's uh -huh. called fond. We want to always get that up off the bottom and into whatever we're cooking because again, that's going to add more flavor. Okay. All right, so now our eggs, just for the sake of TV, we would probably cook that just a little bit longer if we were at home so and get that nice and brown. the hash browns more brown. Exactly. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and let you add the eggs. Okay. And again, that's a dozen eggs. It was two cups of hash browns and one red bell pepper, a few scallions. And so you can see that we're just gonna cook this until our eggs are fully cooked. Everything's incorporated in here. Just mix it all together. Mix it all nice together. And easy. Can yeah. you tilt it a little to show I the can. Can you see the that pan. in there? Yeah. So see yeah. all the pretty colors? Um, so it's a great skillet. It's a great way. You know we always love to get our family together and the best calling card is always gonna be food. Mm -hmm. And so I love to start my family off with a farm fresh breakfast with protein. And that's the in best it. that's the best way to start a morning is when mom's already up and the house smells good and you wake yeah. up and you think yeah, I'm ready to get up and go to the table. Exactly. I love that. Yes. And so it's always important to do that for our kids. Um, a little bit of salt, pepper. Of course, pepper's a spice, so we want to grind that fresh. So we're going to add that. And then just a little bit of salt to that. And then after this is fully cooked, and you can see as I stir this, 
that is starting to get um, cooked on the bottom. This will take just a few minutes. Um, but after that's fully cooked, we have our sharp cheddar cheese. Uh -huh. And one of the neat things about buying cheese that's a little more flavorful, like your sharps, is you can use less of it, but still get that wonderful flavor. Because mm -hmm. there's quite a bit of fat in cheese. And actually, that's the number one way that people get too much fat in their diet, is by eating too much cheese. Oh, really? So buy the stronger ones, and then you can use just a little less bit less. That's yeah. a good tip. So that is our beefy breakfast skillet. That's nice and easy. Yeah, I like Man, it. And it's good. It smells good. Okay, so we're going to finish cooking this up. Um, now I have to ask you a side note. That's a neat little device. Did you just, where did you get this? I just got this um, actually at a kitchen store over in Kansas City okay. called Pride's. Fun place to go. But we want to remember that pepper is a spice, and so it's always best if we can grind that fresh. And I prefer to use kosher salt, which is usually I've got a little salt pig on my counter. A three finger pinch uh -huh. is um, about an eighth of a teaspoon. And okay. so it's kind of nice when you get to know what your hand holds or what yes. your fingers hold, because then you don't have to get out your measuring spoons all the time and it just saves time. And then you feel like a chef. Yourself. You feel like a chef, exactly. Okay, yeah. very nice. So we're going to get this recipe online so mm -hmm. folks can make this at home. It's on my blog as well, chefallysfarmfreshkitchen.com. So go bo both places to get that recipe. Wonderful. All right, Allie, thank you. You're totally welcome. All right, we're going to be in, in Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen another time later this month. We'll have more moms every day after this. We're the Kansas Farm Food Connection, Kansas farmers and ranchers who are proud to put wholesome and nutritious food on your table. It's our mission to connect farms to families and families to farms through education and firsthand experience. Together, we're raising Kansas.